Welcome back, Digital Slang. Back again in another video today, another pair of Black Pods Pro. Let's just jump right in, we'll check them out, we'll see how good they are, then I'll tell you about them, how much I paid for them, all the good stuff. The case itself, matte black, you guys know how much I love the matte black color, and this is no different in the feel. It's got that rubbery coating on it, right? So it feels good, it doesn't slip as much as the regular glossy ones do, but the case itself, the hinge on the back, it is a plastic hinge. If you open it up, you kind of get that reverse hinge, right? But you have to kind of hold it open and then shut it. So no go on the reverse magnetic hinge. We do have the LED light, the port, the charge. But if we take these out, now we do have the real silicone tips here, so you can see that. And also on top, these grills now, these are steel grills, they are not mesh. They are the real grills. And the bottom, we do have the chrome. I'll get some better B-roll shots for you guys to see the grills, but the chrome ring on the bottom is real, and we do have the black bottom as well. The original Black Pop Pros I did try out. This was a white bottom, and of course, these were stickers. They are real grills, so very cool. The one thing I don't like is that they sent extra silicone tips, which is cool, but they sent them in white. I don't want white ones if I got a pair of Black Pops. It's just ridiculous. Attention to detail makes a big difference, but let's connect them. Throw them in, try them out, see how good they are. So if we go into Bluetooth, you open the lid, hit connect, get that real animation, just like the real deal. Click the button on the back of the black pods. One of the good things, all these clones have had good animation, right? We've never had a problem with the animation as far as connection goes. At least I haven't. I think there was one time where I had a beta and it, it still connected through Bluetooth, but I didn't get the animation. But for the most part, they've been pretty solid when it comes to connection and the animation, at least from what I've tried out. So we are connected and there is a sound when they connect. It's not the original sound, but it is a beep nonetheless. So if we go into Bluetooth settings, you click on the blue info button, you can see here Jeff's AirPod Pros 3s, you can rename them. Noise cancellation, transparency, the button works, but nothing happens, no transparency mode on here. Noise cancellation doesn't do anything. Press and hold your AirPods, we're gonna leave them on Siri since noise control does not work. Your ear tip the test, Again, this will play music. It'll give you ear tip fit test results, but they're not going to be accurate. It's not a real test. I can take these out of my ear. I'll show you, I'll take them out of my ear. We'll play the fit test again, and it's going to go through the music, play it, and still give you a good fit test. There you go. So, the ear tip fit test, no good. Hopefully, we'll get one that works soon. And what would you, what would you guys be willing to pay? If you got an AirPod Pro clone, and noise cancellation worked, transparency mode worked, ear tip fit test worked. If all of that worked, what would you pay if the sound quality was good? Also in here, automatic ear detection. This button will work and the mic. Just leave the mic, as always, exactly where it is. Now, if we go into Find My, you can see Jeff's AirPod Pro 3. So GPS does work. Again, the distance isn't as long as the originals, but nonetheless, it does work. We do have that option. Options are always a good thing, even on a clone. Let's play some music, see how they sound. Sound quality is good. It sounds good for a clone. It sounds like a $30, $40 pair of earbuds would sound like. They sound good, there's a little bass. It's a little muffled. I think it sounds a little muffled. It's not as clear as I would like, but overall it's not bad. It's not a bad sound. It's kind of what you would expect for a $35, $40 pair of AirPod clones. So let's keep going with the testing. We're gonna do a mic test. Check out the mic. What up guys, Black Pods Pro. This is the mic test. There are mics that I'm hearing that are coming out that have improved mics that are as good as the real deal. Let me know how these sound. All right, next test, we're gonna jump right into YouTube, check the latency, see if there's any delay between audio and video. So definitely some delay when watching content on YouTube. Now on Android devices, it's not going to be like this. And in Netflix or any other streaming platform, it should not be a problem. But on YouTube, again, the clones and YouTube on iOS devices do not play nice. So there is some delay on here. It's not terrible, I've seen worse but it would bother me if I had it. So keep that in mind. Let's try the touch control, see how they work. So music is playing right now 
And if I click on it once, it's gonna pause it. If I click on it again, it's going to play it. If I touch and hold, it's set in Bluetooth settings to activate Siri or Google Assistant, whoever you are using. And if we play music again, two taps, it's gonna to go to the next track and three taps will go back to the previous track. And it works well. These things are very sensitive as far as touch controls. That's probably one of the best things about them, but just be aware that when you take these in and out of your ear, they're so sensitive that you're going to activate the touch controls as you pull them in and out of your ear. That's how good they work. Might be a little too sensitive in my opinion. All right guys, the Black Pots Pro, another version, another super copy. Some cool things on here. Look, we get the real silicone tips, the real grills on the top and the side. They are not stickers, they are real grills. The real chrome ring on the bottom with the real black bottom. And I keep saying the real black bottom like there's something to compare this to. Again, these are originals. They're a clone of the AirPod Pros, but in black. Apple doesn't make a black pair, so these are basically just winging it on their own. And the case itself, it does support wireless charging, Bluetooth 5.0, battery life is about three and a half hours. Sound quality is decent, it's not the best, I've heard worse, but it's okay, it's loud, very loud, a little muffled, slightly muffled, but overall sound quality is pretty good. And the, the delay on YouTube is a gripe that I have with any kind of earbud. And it's just iOS and earbuds, it's just iOS devices and YouTube do not play nice together. You won't have this problem on Netflix, you won't have it on an Android device, but it is what it is for iPhones. There is some delay watching that, so it's a problem for me. Let me know how the mic sounds. We did a mic test. The mics are getting better on clones, so let me know how the mic sounds. Maybe it's better, maybe it's not. I'll find out when I edit it, and the touch controls work very well. A little sensitive, a little too sensitive maybe, because when you pull them out of your ear, you will activate them. That's how sensitive they are. And again, rename, remap, GPS, all of the good stuff. Almost forgot guys, these are from Fairpods. You guys did ask me to check these out. Quite a few of you actually. So I checked them out. These are from fairpods.org. But now, if you check the website, I think they're gone. I think they went out of business. So Black Pods Pro from Fairpods. I don't know, enjoy the video guys. If you guys know what happened to them, let me know.